Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Nick Frosty. And as part of this PHP My Admin series, I'm gonna show you how to change your user account passwords for PHP My Admin and your MySQL databases. So the first thing you wanna do, and this might seem like a bit of a dummy check, but you wanna open up your XAMPP control panel, and then you wanna actually make sure that Apache and MySQL are both running. So you'll know they're running by having the green little background color on each of those and having a PID or process ID number being shown for each of those. Now, once they're both running, you wanna go ahead and click on the shell button. Now, the shell button will open up a XAMPP for Windows specialized command prompt that'll actually let you run MySQL commands via this special command line. And this is just one of the many ways that you can actually change your MySQL and PHP MyAdmin passwords in order to log in to PHP MyAdmin or connect to your MySQL database. So for this example, like I said, we're gonna be changing our password via this command line shell. So the first thing we wanna actually do is once you have a fresh installation of XAMPP or any PHP MySQL installation, you actually should make sure you have a root password set. So the root user account is actually like the super user or administrator account. Uh, so you wanna make sure you have a password actually set for that just to have like a minimum level of security for your MySQL databases. So in order to set that, you wanna type in MySQL admin, tac tac user equals root. So you're actually specifying the username that you're trying to change and then password space. And then in double quotation marks, you wanna just type in whatever password you wanna actually set. So in this case, I'm just gonna set it to be super simple for this example and I'm gonna set it to password. Go ahead and hit enter. And then you'll notice that there's no confirmation or rejection message, which is a good thing to see. If you see some sort of error message, then you'll know that you need to troubleshoot that error as applicable. But if you get no error message back to you, then you know you're good to go. Now, some of the error messages that you might see is something saying like permission denied or uh, rejection or something like that. And most likely that'll be, if you already have a password set, then you need to actually type in your current password in order to update it, which makes sense. But as a good practice, we're also gonna make sure that we actually have correctly set our new password. So we're actually gonna go ahead and run an FQL query from this command line using the MySQL platform. So we're gonna type in MySQL tac tac user equals to root, so our actual username, and then tac tac password, equal to, and then in double quotation marks, you wanna type in password or whatever password you set it to. And then you wanna put a tech E. And then in quotation, double quotation marks, you actually wanna type in a very simple SQL query to use. So I'm gonna say select one plus one. So we're gonna do a very basic arithmetic SQL query. And then if we go ahead and hit enter, you can see you get this little uh, table format right here saying one plus one and then the result of two. So if you see that, you know you're good to go and that you have actually updated your password. Now, if you were unsuccessful or if you didn't type in your password, so if I delete one of the letters from my password, get and hit enter, you'll see this error message saying access denied for user root at localhost using password of yes. So you'll see that if your password's actually incorrect. So if your password was incorrect, you'll need to troubleshoot that as applicable. Now, if you're trying to update your password for a user account that already has a password, it's a little bit different than the way we did it earlier. I'll go ahead and hit the up button on my keyboard to go back to our original command. Now, the only difference to actually update an account that already has a password is just like we did when we ran our SQL query. When you type in your tac tac user equals root, you also need to type in a tac tac password equal to whatever your current password is, but make sure your caps lock is set as applicable. And then you can specify your password equal to your new password. So I'll go ahead and make this one new password. Go ahead and hit enter. And you see we have no error message set, which means it was successful. Now, if we were to try this again, now that we've already set our password to new password, go ahead and hit enter, you'll see you'll get your connection failed and your access denied error message. And then, like I said before, you'll need a troubleshooter as applicable. 
So now that you've actually set a password for your MySQL account or your root account, we need to actually enable phpMyAdmin to log in with it. So I've got phpMyAdmin open up right here. If I refresh the page, you can see you immediately get an access denied error message. And if you keep pressing the retry to connect, it doesn't work because you can't log in now. But in order to fix that, you actually need to update the phpMyAdmin configuration file. And basically inside of this configuration file, we're gonna tell phpMyAdmin to allow us to log in using a username and password form vice just the static username and password that are saved inside the configuration file. So you wanna go back to your XAMPP control panel. You wanna to go to the config button under Apache, click on it and you'll get a little drop down and you wanna look at the phpMyAdmin config.inc.php. Go ahead and click on that and it'll open up in whatever text editor opens. And then you wanna actually look for the authentication type and info. Now the specific parameter that we wanna update is our auth type. So if you look right now, the default auth type for an XAMPP installation is config. And this config parameter value is actually telling phpMyAdmin to use this uh, stored username and password. So a stored username of root and a password of blank. Now we just changed our password or actually set a password so that doesn't work anymore and that's why phpMyAdmin is actually giving us that error message. So we're gonna actually set our auth type to cookie because who doesn't love cookies? Go ahead and save it. See the little asterisk goes away on notepad. And then now if we refresh phpMyAdmin, you can see we get a username and password login form so that way we can actually easily log in to phpMyAdmin using our newly set username and password. Now, if you take a look at the phpMyAdmin website at phpMyAdmin.net, you can take a look at some of the other types of auth types that are allowed in phpMyAdmin. Now, like we said, and like we saw, config is the default, which will just use the stored values that are inside of the configuration file. You can also use cookie, HTTP, or sign-on as your different auth types. Now, as my own preference, I like to use cookie authentication just because it's a little bit easier to use and work with. Now, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to check out some of the other videos in the PHP MyAdmin series. Don't forget to subscribe so that way you can get notified when new videos in the series come out. And I'll see you in the next one.